because his parents are divorced. Young Sean moves to his grandmother's house in the countryside with his mom, brother and sister. Ten years ago, people thought grandma was acting like a lunatic and ended up putting her in a nursing home. And the house has sat and used ever since. Then Sean and his family moved in. They were ready to wash up and go to bed after briefly packing. But just then, Sean suddenly heard a strange noise coming from the wall. He knocked three holes in the wall with a broom, but found nothing and received a scolding from his mother. His sister Mary takes over the broom and gently taps on the wall, only to have an elevator appear behind the wall. Although Mary and her brother Helmer are not too interested in this, they urge Sean to finish cleaning quickly and go back to bed. However, Sean always felt that there were some secrets hidden in the house, so he decided to get into the elevator. As he explores, Sean discovers an attic full of clutter, and one of the books catches his attention because it has a sticky note that says do not open. Sean takes the book back to his room and unseals it with curiosity. The name of the book is The Book of Strange Elf Incidents, in which there are all kinds of strange elves, including an evil elf named Demon King, who can change his appearance. In the book, the author emphasizes that the book must not fall into the hands of the Demon King, or else the elves and human beings will suffer great disasters. In order to protect the book, the author gives it to a Justice Fairy for safekeeping. Sean realized that the Justice Elf liked honey very much, so early the next morning, he prepared some honey and cookies. Sure enough, it didn't take long for the Justice Elf to show up. Sean learns from the Justice Elf that the book was actually written by Sean's maternal great-grandfather Arthur, who had spent his life studying elves and had mastered most of their secrets. But when the demon learns of this fact, he begins to hunt Arthur down. To protect the book, Arthur puts a boundary around the house. The Justice Elf brings Sean to the window and shows him the knot. However, they accidentally much alike. Sean decides to rush forward and save his brother, as well as a pig elf who can make invisible elves visible. Sean realizes that he has gained the special ability to see hidden elves. The Demon King threatens Helmer to find the elf book for him or he will kill Sean's family. Sean is convinced that he can't let the demon get the elf book. The Justice Elf tells Sean that the book was written by his maternal great-grandfather Arthur. The Justice Elf then demonstrates the knot. But Hammer is suddenly dragged by something unseen, and the most evil of all, the Demon Lord, shows up. It turns out that the Archdemon is after Sean, but because he looks so much like Hammer, Hammer becomes the scapegoat. Sean rushes to his brother's rescue, but the two disagree and begin to fight. Hammer thinks that if he hands over the book, everything will be fine, but Sean realizes that he cannot let the Demon King get the elf book. Suddenly, the Demon King's henchman, the evil elf, arrives and finds the book in Helmer's hands. The two leave in a hurry, but are caught by the evil elf as they almost enter the boundary, and Helmer's leg is injured. Mary arrives at the sound and is also injured. Eventually, they manage to retreat into the knot, but more and more evil elves pour into the house. Just when the three feel helpless, a picture of Grandma catches their eye. They decide to go to the sanatorium to find Grandma as she grew up there and might know how to destroy the elf book. So, after Sean, Mary and Helmer conferred. Sean and Mary went to the sanatorium while Helmer, who had injured his leg, was in charge of attracting the evil elves inside the boundary and making an improvised grenade out of the ketchup that could kill the evil elves. With everything ready, Sean and Mary quietly leave through the back door, only to be spotted by two evil elves. At the critical moment, they managed to open the wooden door and jumped into the hole in the ground, avoiding the pursuit of the evil elves. However, the giant rat beast sent by the Demon King continued to pursue. They ran wildly all the way, escaping from the rainwater manhole cover to the road. The giant rat beast also tried to come out from the manhole cover, but was hit by a car. Finally, they meet Grandma at the nursing home. Granny also doesn't know how to destroy the elf book. It turns out that Arthur was taken by a group of air elves when he was driving away the evil elves. 86 years after that event, but Granny still believes that her father is still alive. Then, the evil elves appear and try to take the elf book. Sean pleads with Grandma to destroy the fairy book, but takes it out only to realize that the fairy book has been dangled by the righteous elves, and that the boundary will disappear tonight. Arthur tells them that it is the knowledge in the fairy book that the demon needs, and now since Sean has finished the book, he doesn't need his help. Sean realizes that he is the fairy book itself, 
they return to the house to find that the evil elf has begun to splash the potion, and the moon's presence renders the boundary ineffective. Sean explains the cause and effect to his mom, and they team up to defend the home, spreading salt in front of the doors and windows to limit the evil elf's movements. As night falls, the potion cracks the knot's restrictions in the moonlight and the evil elves begin to attack. Realizing that the evil elves had noticed the salt, they change tactics and attack the owls from the floor and ceiling. In desperation, they are forced to retreat to the kitchen. Finally, they loaded all the ketchup into the oven, set the floor on fire with oil, and blew the evil elf army out of existence. At that moment, there was a knock at the door of the house. The four rushed to the door and found that it was their dad. However, it turned out that he was just an illusion of the Demon King. Facing the powerful Demon King, they can only use their wits to win. Sean escapes to the attic on the elevator, but the Demon King is transformed into a big snake and chases after him, continuing to force Sean. However, the Justice Genie appears and helps Sean escape. Taking advantage of the situation, Sean climbs through the window to the roof of the building and faces the Demon King, who has no way to escape. But at the critical moment, he saw the pig elf in the tree. Sean threw the elf book, and the Demon King only saw the book, and he transformed into a crow to grab it. But the pig elf quickly grabbed him and swallowed it. The Demon King was greedy and was eventually completely destroyed by the combined efforts of humans and elves. 